Parametric constraints are supported in AutoCAD 2012 for Mac, meaning you can define relationships between objects, based on geometry or dimensions, and have those relationships persist as you make modifications to your design. For example, you can draw a rectangle in AutoCAD for Mac, but when you use its grips to stretch a corner, it immediately becomes an irregular shape instead. To make the rectangle stay a rectangle, you can apply geometric constraints. Part of what defines a rectangle is that its opposite sides are parallel, so you can apply parallel geometric constraints to each pair of sides. Another defining characteristic is that the sides are at right angles to one another, so you can apply a perpendicular constraint to one of the corners. Finally, if you want the rectangle to stay horizontal, you can apply a horizontal constraint to the bottom side. One way to speed up this process is to turn on infer constraints from the status bar. This function automatically applies geometric constraints as you draw, so that when you draw a new rectangle, the appropriate constraints are added right away. The second type of parametric constraint is dimensional constraints, which control the sizes of objects or distances between points. For example, when dimensional constraints are added to the size of this rectangle, its size can be changed by modifying the value of the constraint. In this drawing, showing the top, front, and side views of a mechanical part, geometric and dimensional constraints have been applied so that making a change in one view updates all the others. This way, exploring the effect of design changes is fast and easy.